Hello, Valder. How are you? I'm having a fabulous life. Thank you for joining me. Who do I have in the studio with me? So you're talking with Laura DeAngelis. Oh, hi, Laura. How are hey, you? I'm very good. Happy, happy holidays to you. All right, then. Well, what are we going to talk about today? Because, you know, it's the holidays. What, can, what message can we get across? You know, Valder, I think the biggest message to tell people right now is just because it's the holidays, you don't have to throw in the towel on your healthy habits or on the healthy routine that you're trying to keep going. Um, I love to tell people at this time of year, tis the season to be sneaky. And what I mean about that, Valder, is you can sneak in some activity whenever you can throughout the day, taking stairs, parking further away from the office or other entrances, like even at the mall if you're doing your shopping. Um, and if you get up like 10 minutes earlier in the morning, if you know you've got a holiday party or maybe an activity with the kids after work, getting some kind of activity, even if it's just 10 minutes in the morning, it's going to set a nice tone for you throughout the day mentally, knowing that you did get something done despite all the hustle and bustle going on right now. Okay. So we'll take me, for example. I'm okay. the typical American. Mm -hmm. You know, I've worked really hard throughout these 300 and whatever days have passed this year yes. to, to be healthy. How do I, st give me something that I can do to stay healthy from that holiday food to. <laughs> okay, absolutely, yeah. So in addition to trying to get the activity in when you can, one of the biggest tips I tell people when you talk about holiday food, don't show up in an event with those high calorie holiday foods starving. Make sure you have a snack, Valder, about an hour before. Maybe have a, uh, a fat-free Greek yogurt. I love those. They have some protein in them to keep you full. Maybe have a green apple and a piece of cheese. Something, again, that's just going to satisfy so that you don't get to these parties or other events and go for the cheesiest thing that you see there or the first thing that's usually the highest caloric value uh, on the menu. So again, a little bit of preparation, just having a smart snack before the fun begins can help you stick with some of your healthy habits. I know because we feel, you know, we feel so, Laura, we feel so guilty that you've yeah. worked hard all year and then you go to this place and that one time, you know how your mind is, is all sure. that one time is not going to hurt. And, and you feel guilt, but you do feel guilty later on. You know, you do, but let me tell you something, Valerie. Myself included, I love my treats. I mean, I, I like the sweets. I like my wine. And once in a while, it's going to happen. You know, you'll say to yourself, I'm only going to have one cookie. And you end up maybe having three or four. And all I tell people at that point is it's okay. Just kind of, you know, dust the crumbs off your hands and, and get up the next day and know that maybe on that next day you're really going to get back to that routine. You're going to have a nice uh, uh, fortifying breakfast. You're going to have maybe a salad for your, your lunch. And if you're going to snack on things the next day, it's going to be on carrot sticks as opposed to, you know, some sweets that somebody brought to the office. So it's okay to slip once in a while. Don't beat yourself up too much. Okay, what if you worked real hard physically all year? How do you stay pain-free during the holidays? So um, one thing about the pain, which can definitely happen when you are working out, especially at this time if you're crunching it all into one spot. Also, Valder, decking the halls can be taxing on the body. So before the pain gets in the way, you want to take some action. And you know what? For me, that's going to mean reaching for Arnicare gel. It works on muscle pain and stiffness and swelling from injuries, even works on bruising. What I really like about it is that it has a natural active ingredient called the Mountain Daisy. Um, and it also, to me, great thing about it, it's clear, non-greasy, and here's the best part for me, it is unscented, Valder, so you're not going to show up at a holiday party or anywhere else smelling like medicine. You're just going to you. have it on and, <laughs> and, you know, work through it and get back into the holiday fun as quickly as possible. These are great ideas that we can do. Anything else you want us to know? Yeah, absolutely. So one thing I'd like to say is it's a great time to think about giving the gift of motivation maybe this holiday season. And for me, Valder, that means music. I love a great playlist. It'll kind of keep me moving, whether it's at the gym or going for a walk. So this year, you might want to consider giving the perfect workout headset. So here we are looking at the LG Tone Active Wireless Headset. It's really comfortable, rests right around your neck has retractable earbuds so it's not going to get tangled up when you're moving around and it is wireless and works with any smartphone 
enabled, excuse me, Bluetooth enabled smartphone device. So whether you have team iPhone or team Android, you're going to stay connected on the phone with this and also with your music. Music sounds great because of technology and it comes in fun, bright colors. And the other thing I want to suggest, Valder, maybe even as a stocking stuffer, um, something that my mom got me tuned into years ago, and that's the Coldies Cold Remedy products. You know, right now, colds, they want to kind of creep in and ruin the holiday fun. We don't want that to happen. We want to get out there and have fun. So the classic cherry lozenge, it is clinically proven to shorten the duration of your common cold by 40%. So there's a great thing to have around along with the multi-symptom relief quick melts. They're going to help with other symptoms like some chest congestion, maybe a cough and a sore throat. And last but certainly not least, at the very first hint that you think you might be getting sick, the multi-symptom relief lozenges are going to be a big help as well. So again, you know, if you're, if you're feeling it coming on, you just want to make sure you kind of nip it in the bud and you don't have to be out of the game, whether it's at the gym, holiday parties, or any kind of fun longer than you have to. Laura, they told me that you were an award-winning TV producer, but they told me you had a passion providing health and wellness, and you're my kind of girl. <laughs> well, Valder, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Same to you. Happy holidays.